And Furco employed uh, a lot of advice on this, including a Native American consultant um, of, of Native American descent, Jeffrey Cox, a descendant of the Cherokee tribe. I've been with him since April on this. Mike Doyle went to Standing Rock to take part in the protests uh, out there after Thanksgiving in support. Uh, there's an interesting dream catcher in here. There's a light effect, which is going to be interesting to see. Uh, what are you hoping for there, Jake? Well, first of all, I, when I heard them rehearse, I was very overwhelmed by how they opened. It was a very powerful opening. And uh, you, the former captain, by the way, Anthony Salenza, is back in the band playing sax and having a great time doing it. Yeah, and this is, uh, again, as Thomas said, uh, We Stand as One. That's the theme title. And there are over 500 tribes of indigenous peoples across the United States. And their presentation is, is a celebration of the culture that makes up these great people. One so. of the Native Americans they took on as a consultant got so into this that he ended up building props. And Sean Slavinsky uh, is their... Uh, costume uh, chairman and uh, costume person and uh, he's uh, my nephew but I, I like I like him a lot all right well here we go the Joseph A Furco string band and Captain Thomas do more we stand as one
an amazing captain's costume, a pit band with 36 different designs, the Laser Eagle, fascinating music we'll talk about, a powerful performance from the Furco String Band. Let's continue. We'll hear from Jake. We'll hear from Bob in a moment as the 2017 Sugar House Casino Mummers Parade continues on PHL 17. 